Joe's Garage. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome back to Jimbo's Garage. Well, today we're going to be doing some shop transformation and some organization. I've got some new stuff coming into the shop. I got always stuff, new stuff coming, new stuff going, but more stuff coming than going. I got to create some more space to get a little bit more organized. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get all these machines out of here. I'm going to take this table that's behind me and I'm going to move it down about five or six feet, and then I'm going to get the What's behind you right there, and I'll show you that in a minute, is the cabinet that matches these three cabinets that I already have going on, the gray cabinet drawers. I've got the fourth matching one, and we're going to be putting that in right here and putting a new top on it to match everything so this is complete. Then we're going to be taking the lay table, and we're going to be moving it down about 30 inches, and I've got some rewiring I've got to get done up there and pull some new power down to this side over here. So a lot of things happening, all of it in this sector of the shop, so let's get started. Alright, so a lot of things are going to happen here, and I've got some sort of a game plan in my head as, as to how things are going to work, but uh, let's just see how that all uh, comes about here. So the first thing is to get everything completely cleared out of the area that I'm going to be working in. And that means moving all their machines on their carts out of the way for now and uh, getting everything cleared out. You know, I've got the, uh, the drill press table that I've had there for pretty much my whole life, probably for 30 years or so now. Uh, I got it when I was pretty young, given to me, and I just keep moving it from shop to shop, and it's uh, serving its purpose really well, so it's hard for me to get rid of it. But it's awfully heavy right now with all this stuff on it, especially all of that wood that you see underneath it. I, I don't know what it is with me. I, I just cannot get rid of my wood drops. I, I think that I'm going to use those things for something all the time, and I never do. So I'm going to go through and straighten all this stuff up, throw a lot of it out, and uh, just keep what I what I think I need and uh, you know hopefully it'll be a little bit more organized in that department there uh, I gotta get all that stuff off there anyway this table is too heavy for me to move as it is just a lot of weight on it and then those are some bottle jacks that I've had uh, for a long time and again those things are pretty heavy I think I got about 10 of them so I get those things off of there now I'll be able to move this table here a lot easier and that's exactly what I did right here. Got everything unplugged, and that thing just got pushed down to, um, you know, for now, just down and out of the way far enough that uh, I would be able, to work, uh, be able to work in this area right here. And you can just see years of accumulating uh, dust and dirt and whatever else. Uh, I got everything uh, cleaned up in this area right here. And then this is where the new cabinet's going to go. Now, the first thing I wanted to do is just get it over there and just kind of get it into place and just see what it's going to look like and see what I'm going to need to do to get it up and level with all the other, uh, uh, with the other cabin, I should say. So I just slowly moved it over, propped things up with some 2x4s to, to get it into position um, to see exactly what it was going to look like and what I needed to do. One of them was to get that outlet off the back there. I had to make some changes with that. But ultimately, there were some leveling screws on the bottom of this uh, drawer, and I was actually get those adjusted and brought into uh, uh, the proper height that it needed to be and got that outlet uh, uh, moved around in the back. So it fit right in there nicely. And this piece right here happened to be something that was left over when I installed the other two cabinets. I mean, this is an inch and an eighth piece of plywood. It's exactly what I used for the other two cabinets. I got really lucky right there. I just had to trim off a little bit. And uh, once I got that done and the cabinet uh, shell itself was installed and everything was complete, I moved the uh, drill press table down to where it was going to be. And things are starting to go back into shape on this side of the shop. And, and it's working the way I was just the way I was hoping. Not an inch to spare anywhere. Let me tell you, everything is super tight. Uh, but it, uh, it works. Well, I, I really going to have to have a bigger shop one of these days, but uh, for now, this is working out pretty good. And then I'm just putting the stuff back on the drill press table. You know, I don't know if I'll ever use these. I use these bottle jacks for a job that I did. I had to lift a house up and I had to have a bunch of these to do that. And uh, I don't know, I'm going to hang on to them. But uh, here is the scrap wood pile. I hung on to my hardwoods, obviously. And uh, a few short pieces, a few odds and ends of random uh, pieces of plywood. And that is what I'm going to end up staying with. I think that'll be just fine. 
And then just for now, putting stuff up onto the uh, table and kind of getting organized. I'm not certain where all this stuff is going to go for now. But I'm just kind of getting things cleaned up. Now this is a piece of uh, quarter inch hardboard. This is for the surface of the new table. Now this stuff is, just, you can't just find this at your local hardware store. This is, uh, this, is, this is a specialty piece of wood. You can find one eighth, you can find three sixteenths, but getting quarter inch is kind of a special uh, thickness uh, for this material anyway. So I was able to uh, find it, purchase it, and put it on the top and got it finished. And uh, you can see that worked out uh, just the way I was hoping. Everything it was a nice little addition to the uh, workbench to get that finished up right there. You know, now it's time to move on to the uh, to the lathe table. A little bit more of a challenge uh, coming this way. You know, I knew that I had to move it down a little bit, and I I knew that uh, you know I wasn't certain exactly how it was going to work until I just started moving things around. The first thing I wanted to do is disconnect the power. Now this is the power that comes down to, to supplies power to the table. It's a 20 amp circuit. I pulled this thing down and and made this this thing coming from the ceiling down to tie it together so the first thing i got to do is get rid of this thing uh, so that the table is able to move freely now i did obviously check and shut the breaker off so there is no power live to it and once i got that done then it was time to do something with the table and uh, i tried at first to push the thing down by myself uh, move it, uh, pull it. I tried everything I could. This just wasn't going to happen. So I had to think of an alternative thing. And uh, I grabbed a couple of uh, straps that I had hanging around and actually hooked that onto my bumper and was able to use actual horsepower, if you will, to move the table down a little bit. So uh, that actually worked pretty good, pretty effortlessly uh, on that. And actually so good that I pushed it too far and I had to use my truck to push it back a little bit. So that was all good for now, uh, but I wasn't happy with that. And by that time, my worker had got back to the shop and helped me between him and I, we decided, I decided I wanted to flip this thing around completely. I wanted the, the metal lathe on the working side of the shop. That's where I use it the most. I don't use the wood lathe very often. Plus on this side of the table, uh, there's no problem and nice and flat. Uh, and it'll work out good for what I'm going to be using it for. So it's time to move the electrical around a little bit. And uh, this is some one inch EMT. And this is a bigger box. This is where the uh, this is where the 220 outlet is going to go. Now I had to do some trickery stuff right here to get around my garage door. Once I pushed my lathe table down, now I couldn't have I didn't have a straight shot down from that outlet box that's up on the ceiling there straight into where it was. So I had to create this little this little bend to get around the garage door that kind of tucked up in behind there. So I'd already previously pulled the wires that I needed into that uh, uh, box up on the top and now it's time to start fishing everything through here and uh, hooking everything up. And now what I have right here is I've got three eights and I've got three twelves. The three twelves are coming in from the top and they're going to tie in that box and then the, there's a conduit that runs out of that box across to the other side of the lathe table and that connects the the uh, 110 the 20 amp circuit together and the 3 8 are going to supply the the 220 outlet that I'm going to need right here so you know just fishing this stuff all together and uh, making the connections and hoping that uh, when I make the connections I shove everything into place here that everything is somewhat plumb and accurate you know just working by yourself like this is is which i always do i very rarely do i get help um you just gotta figure things out and hopefully things work the way you hope they you hope they will and so far so good this uh, moved into place right here and uh looking pretty good and now it's time to make those connections and there's that you can see that conduit in the back there running across the back. That does go to the other side where I do have the outlet and then off of that outlet power, so power strip that I have for uh, the lathes, both lathes. So I just tied those together to make that connection. And then this is the 220 outlet and this was simple enough to put on uh, the uh, three number eights uh, tied together right here. Now these are random colors only because this is what my, uh, my friend of mine had given me this wire and, and uh, and it was just extra, so I just coated the wire and knew where I, that what I was doing in terms of hooking them up um, so they all were continuous. Well, there it is. Um, pretty much complete right here. 
it was a good transformation, you know, a lot of work for one guy and, uh, you know, but it, over the course of a few days, I was able to get it done. And as far as I can tell, this is going to work just the way I was hoping it was going to. There's the electrical deal that comes around and gets around my garage door. And of course, the 20, 2010 press is uh, where it needs to be. And this is where it's going to live. And, and so far, everything is going to be working. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with the way it all turned out. All right, well, there it is. The garage transformation, reorganization, whatever you want to call it, is complete. I'm able to get my four drawer cabinet installed over here to complete my workbench on this side. Moved the drill press table down, made room for a, a few things that I have over here. Most importantly, I take my lathe table and moved it down. And not only do I move, moved it down, but I also switched it around. I use my uh, machine lathe more than I do the wood lathe, and I just thought it would be better accessible over on this side. Pull the power down, I've got power down here now, and uh, we're all ready for what's to come next. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Check out my website at jimbozygarage.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe for more video. See you next time on Jimbo's Garage.